Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. Great news for everyone who focuses on native Android among you, because my new Android internals course just launched. And in this video, I will answer these six questions for you. And down below, you will find timestamps in case you don't care about some of these. Number one, I will answer who is this new course actually for? Then what does it teach you? So which video lessons does it contain? Number three, how does it actually teach you that? So is it a theoretical course? Is it a practical one? Number four, I will answer whether you will be certified after completing it in some way. Number five, of course, how you can actually get access to this brand new course with the launch discount. Yes, there will be a launch discount. And lastly, number six, what actually if you now get this course and you somehow don't like it. So starting with who this new course is actually for. This new course called Android Internals is made mainly for those of you who are doing or want to do native Android development for a living. So where this is the niche you focus on. And especially if you say you are an Android developer with average understanding of the Android SDK, so you've heard about activities before, the lifecycle, services, and so on, but you only understand these concepts on a very high level, then this course is for you because it teaches you the entire inner workings of the Android operating system. Because let's be honest, in order to build world-class Android apps, you can't just think of your app as an isolated component, but you have to think of it as a tiny cog in a huge system. And if you don't know the functionings and rules of this huge system, then it's the system that dictates the functioning of your app and not your app anymore. So if you want to take the step from having foundational knowledge about the Android SDK to a recognized expert in native Android development who truly understands the platform they are working with on a daily basis, then this course is made for you. So what does it teach you specifically? This new course consists of 46 video lessons in nine distinct sections. So first of all, you'll learn how the Android OS system architecture is actually like. As you maybe know, Android is built on top of a Linux, so you will get to understand what building on top of Linux actually means. Um, what is this on top that Android actually adds? So what makes the Android OS unique and why? So specifically, this section includes concepts like processes, uh, zygote, process lifecycle, importance hierarchy, a main thread, loopers, handlers. You learn about Android's message queue mechanism. You learn about system services, the Dalvik virtual machine and the Android runtime, just-in-time compilation, ahead-of-time compilation, how native code actually integrates into all that and how the JNI works. Then in the next section, you will learn how activities actually work under the hood. So things like the activity task manager service, things like the activity result registry. We'll then dive into view model internals, so how view models actually work how they manage to survive configuration changes, what the view model store is, what the view model provider is, process dev, saved state handle, and we'll actually get to build our very own view model API, which will then help you to really understand all these terms in detail. Next up, there's a section about UI and the view system on Android. So how the Android OS actually achieves that we see, what we see on the screen, both with views and JPEG Compose. So here you will really understand the entire rendering pipeline of Android. Then we got a big section about IPC, which I don't think I've ever talked about on YouTube. So IPC stands for inter-process communication. So how processes on Android can communicate with each other, which is by the way, a super common interview topic. So this gives you a deep dive into intents, broadcasts, all kinds of bound services, um, idle, custom content providers. So all kinds of different ways how two apps can actually communicate with each other and how your app talks to system services. Then we got a big question about Android security system. That's of course also quite important to know about. So how Android sandboxes its apps. Uh, things like internal versus external storage, routing and what a root user could actually do with your app. Then a video about cryptography and how cryptographic keys should actually be stored safely on Android. We'll talk about APKs, Android app bundles and how these are actually signed and how this process works. We'll talk about Android's permission model, uh, how you protect your app against reverse engineering. All these security relevant uh, topics will be covered in this section. Next up, we got a section about memory management, which is of course a core job of any operating system. Because if you don't know how the OS actually manages the memory for your app, then this can of course lead to out of memory errors, so a crash in your app. So in this section, we'll talk about how the heap and garbage collection on Android works, how you avoid these out of memory errors, how we avoid memory leaks and why they actually why they can actually happen in the first place. And lastly, we'll talk about battery management. So the battery of an Android device is of course another main reason why the Android OS may restrict certain parts of your app. So first of all, how you actually avoid excessive battery drain. I will talk about dose mode and how you also test your app for that. Uh, we talk about app standby, so the different standby buckets, how you test your app for that as well. We'll talk about how we can make use of work manager in order to work with these battery restrictions. So you can see, you get a super, super in-depth understanding of the entire Android operating system. So what's really my approach with this course? 
how does it really teach you all these concepts? Is it more theoretical? Is it practical? And if yes, in which sense? So you may now think, okay, the course is about internals. So a bunch of theory, that's just nice to know. No, you know my videos and that I put the strongest focus on actual practical relevance. And that is why every single video of this course has practical relevance for your actual work life. Yes, maybe around 25% of the videos are more theoretical, but this knowledge finds direct application in your work life. So we won't talk about any implementation details of the Android operating system, so specific sections of its code, which are honestly only helpful if you actually develop this OS yourself. But instead, you will learn about all those technologies and concepts the Android OS introduces and how you can best integrate your app into this big system, because that is what you will do in your daily work life as well. So to give you a simple example, Understanding how the OS manages memory helps you to improve the memory consumption of your app. Practical use case. Example number two, understanding the restrictions the OS applies as a result of battery management, for example, helps you to develop your app in a way to work with these restrictions. Because if you don't know these restrictions and rules that the OS imposes on your app, then that can result to data being lost, this can result to a lower performance, or just to misbehavior and bugs because you did not know about a specific restriction. So we as developers, we can stop the waves, but we can learn writing them. But another big reason why I think any developer who is serious about their career should learn about internals of something, that's simply because learning the internals of something expands your mental model. So you will suddenly think completely differently about concepts you maybe know for a long time. But because you think differently, this will just help you approach errors and bugs from a completely new angle. And it will also help you better to just explain to your colleagues, for example, what you're actually talking about if you just have a bigger vocabulary and a better overall internal understanding. And even if some of these concepts that are taught in this course are more theoretical, we'll often actually re-implement them in code. And not because you should use your own solution for something, but because re-implementing something helps you to truly understand what you work with. So for example, as I said, we'll build our own custom implementation of the Android X view model that survives actual configuration changes, or we will actually re-implement the mechanism of what a looper is on Android with its own specific message event queue, because that way you will never ever forget again what these terms are about. Question number four, will you actually be certified in some way after completing this course? Quick answer, just like for all my courses, at the end of the course, you will get a quiz, if you pass that quiz, you will be awarded a certificate to show off that you have this expertise about Android. So if it now clicked for you, why you can simply learn the pure functions of the Android SDK, but you need to understand the whole Android platform on a deeper level to best build well-functioning apps, then here's how you can proceed. For only one week, until Sunday, March 16th, you get a juicy early bird discount on this brand new course. Below this video, you will find a link, click it, You'll get to our website where you again get a summary for what I talked about here. On that website, click the big orange button. After that, you'll get to the checkout page, simply fill in your details, and then you already get instant access to these 46 video lessons. So just check your emails after that because that includes information on how you can access these video contents. And by the way, the industry ready developer bundle and the ultimate peer course bundle have also been extended with this brand new course. So these two bundles are also discounted together with this new course. So if you've been watching my videos for a while and you like this content, you want to learn more about Android, you want to take your career seriously, then maybe check these bundles. You'll also find two links to these bundles down below. And last question I want to answer, what actually happens if you now end up getting the course? You maybe never got a course of mine before, you don't know what you can expect. Well, that is absolutely not a problem. I strongly believe in my courses, my customers are happy, and that is why I have no problems offering a 30-day 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't like the course, then just let us know and we will refund 100% of your money within 30 days. So as I said, the price of this new course will rise in seven days from now and then also won't be reduced anytime soon. So even if you're unsure yet, click the link down below, just explore a little bit why it may be a good idea to get this course. And if you then say, Philip, that's not really what I'm looking for, then that's also completely cool, of course. But check it out and get a feeling for what this is really about. Thanks so much for everyone who, by the way, also supports the future of this channel by getting this course. So I can only say happy learning. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about the course or you're unsure about something, of course, use the comment section down below. Um, I will take a look and I will answer your questions. Awesome. Then I think I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.